Hello guys, welcome back sa aking YouTube channel. Ngayong araw, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano itong implicit differentiation. Okay? Kung paano ba kunin yung derivatives ng isang implicit functions. So anyway, bago tayo magsimula, ano nga ba yung implicit function? Anyway, we have two, two kinds of functions. No? Explicit and then implicit function. So, explicit function, so y equals some function of x. So, explicit y equals some function of x. Okay? Then, implicit okay. some function okay. some function of y and x equals equal something else something else. Okay. Kung matanong nyo, ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba ng explicit sa implicit function? Okay. So, yung explicit function, tatanda nyo lang to, na magkahiwalay yung x at y dun sa equation. For example, katulad ng binibigay natin nung, sa mga una kong videos, yung naka-separate yung x sa y, di ba? Kinukuha natin yung derivative ng y or f of x. Di ba? Mamapansin nyo, nakahiwala yung x. So, example na explicit natin is, is what? Example na explicit, explicit, ex, explicit, yan. y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Kung mapapansin nyo, nakahiwala yung yung variable na x doon sa sa y. And y in terms of x. Okay? Nandito sa left side yung y, nandun naman sa right side yung x. Okay. Kapag implicit naman, guys, example na implicit, implicit, So, we have x squared plus y squared equals 5. Okay? Ano makapansin nyo? Anong pinagkaiba na nila ni explicit? Makapansin nyo, doon sa left side ng equation natin na x squared plus y squared equals 5, magkasama yung variable na x at y doon sa left side. Okay? Sabi nga, some function of y and x equals something else. So, tatanda nyo lang, mapa-left man o mapa-right, kung magkasama yung x at y na variable, doon sa side na yun, implicit yun. Kapag magkahiwalay, explicit. Tatanda nyo lang, magkahiwalay, x. Magkasama, im. Okay? Okay. Now, how to... to do implicit differentiation so number one differentiate with respect to x number two collect all the dy over dx on one side number three our last step solve for dy over dx okay example x squared plus y squared equals five so this is an example of implicit different Implicit function, rather. Okay. Now, what is the first step? First step, differentiate with respect to x. Okay. So, dun sa left side natin, we have two terms. Tama? x squared plus y squared. So, kunin natin yung, yung derivative ng bawat term niya. Okay. Una muna yung x squared. Okay. Derivative of... x squared 
with respect to x plus derivative of y squared with respect to x plus derivative of 5 with respect to x. Okay, then get the derivative. So derivative of x squared with respect to x, so that is power rule. So you have 2x plus, okay, right here. Now, derivative of y squared with respect to x. So get the power, okay, use the power rule. You have 2y, but we're dealing with respect to x, okay? So get the, okay, after we use the power rule here, so 2y, get the derivative of the base, okay, get the derivative of y with respect to x. So times derivative of y with respect to x equals, what is the derivative of 5? Okay, 0. After we get the, the derivative of each term, collect all the dy over dx on one side. So, right. we will move 2x from left side to the right side. So, we have 2y dy over dx equals negative to x then divide both sides by 2y step number three solve for dy over dx so divide both sides by 2y okay so we have here 2y and 2y so the final answer is dy over dx equals Answer negative x over y. So that is the final answer. Example number two we have 2y cube plus 4x squared minus y equals x raised to 6. So get the derivative. So we have our rule we have 6y squared okay so kinukuha natin ang derivative yung variable na y eh, with respect to x sya. so don't forget to put dy over dx okay pero pag x naman yung kinukuha natin ng derivative wala ng problema yon no wag niyo nang lalagyan ng d dy over dx okay so this one 4x squared on the derivative niya 8x okay so this one minus okay derivative ng y with respect to x so we have dy over dx then power rule derivative of x raised to 6 6x raised to 5 Okay, then step number two natin. And we establish step number two. Collect all the dy over dx on one side. So, itira natin lahat ng mayroong dy over dx dito sa left side. So, we have 6y squared dy over dx minus dy over dx Lipat to, kabila, 6x raised to 5 minus 8x. Okay. So, makapansin nyo, meron, meron silang common factor na dy over dx. So, factor out natin yan. Okay. And then, solve for dy over dx. So, dito sa left side natin, meron tayong common factor na dy over dx so factor out natin yun so dy over dx 
times, okay, matitira na lang to, 6y squared minus, okay, minus, pag nilabas natin to, sumuling matitira ang 1 dyan. So, 1 equals 6x raised to 5 minus 8x. And then, yan na. Kasi sa separate na natin yung dy over dx, no? Pwede na natin isolve yung dy over dx. So, by dividing both sides by 6y squared minus 1. So, divide both sides by 6y squared minus 1. 6y squared minus 1. Okay. So, the final answer is the derivative of y with respect to x equals 6x raised to 5 minus 8x all over 6y squared minus 1. So, this is the final answer. Okay, for our third example, we have 4x squared, y raised to 7 minus 2x equals x raised to 5 plus 4y cubed. Okay, so una muna natin, kung natin yung derivative ng bawat terms. So, we have 4x squared, y raised to 7. So, meron tayong dalawang factors dito, no? Si 4x squared, tsaka si y raised to 7. So, kung meron tayong dalawang factors, kung alala nyo, ginagamitan siya natin ng product rule. Okay? So, yung first term natin dito, si 4x squared, yung second term natin, si y raised to 7. So, sa, sa product rule, take the first factor. So, first factor mo tayo, 4x squared, then derivative ng second factor. Ano ba ang derivative ng y raised to 7? So, derivative ng y raised to 7 is derivative of y raised to 7. Alright. Plus, take the second factor times derivative of first. So, derivative of 4x squared. Okay. minus derivative of 2x minus derivative of 2x with respect to x equals okay, equals this one derivative of x raised to 5 natin plus derivative of 4y cubed with respect to x. Okay, ito muna. So, 4x squared ano ba derivative ng y raised to 7? Power, power rule. So, we have 7y raised to 6 okay 7y raised to 6 eh variable y siya na kinukuha natin ang derivative with respect to x so instead na dy over dx gamit na lang tayo ng y prime no? same lang naman yun y prime dy over dx oh, same lang yun no? na ito yung function na kinukuha natin ang derivative plus y raised to 7, okay ito, with respect to x, okay? So, derivative of 4x squared is what? 8x, okay? y raised to 7 times 8x. Minus, okay, dito tayo ah, minus. Minus, derivative of 2x with respect to x. So, derivative of 2x, 2, okay? Equals, ito na, dito tayo equals derivative of x raised to 5 okay so we have 5x raised to 4 and then this one plus derivative of 4y cube okay variable siya na y so kunin mo na derivative using power rule so we have 12y squared okay then Don't forget y prime. 
Okay. Y prime. Tsaka dy over dx. Same lang naman yun. Okay. Ano yung next step natin? So, kolektahin na lahat natin yung may y prime. Ano ba yung may mga y prime dyan? Na term. Ito. Tsaka ito. Kolektahin natin. Pagsamahin natin sa isang side. No? O, doon na lang sa left. So, ito yung ililipat natin mula sa kanan papunta sa kaliwa. So, from positive, magiging negative siya. So, arrange natin. So, we have 4x squared. Tanggalin ko na ito. Tanggalin ko na ito. Tanggalin ko na ito. 4x squared. Okay, 4 times 7 is 28. Sulat nyo na 28 x squared, y raised to 6, y prime. Okay, hindi yan y raised to 1 ha, y prime yan. Minus, ilipat natin to dito, 12 y squared, y prime. Okay, ito namang dalawang terms na to, no, na walang y prime, ilagay mo dun kasama ni 5x raised to 4. So, 5 x raised to 4 minus, okay, arrange natin, 8x y raised to 7, okay, ito, ito naman, plus 2. Okay. And then, factor out natin yung y prime, kasi solve natin yung y prime eh. So, y prime times 28x squared y raised to 6. Yun na natira, no? Nung nilabas natin yung y prime. Minus, okay, labas yung y prime. So, 12 y squared na lang natira. Close. Ito yun. Equals 5 x raised to 4 minus 8 x y raised to 7 plus 2. Okay? Okay, so yan na yun, no? Yung y prime equals uh, y prime times 28x squared y raised to 6 minus 12y squared equals 5x raised to 4 minus 8x y raised to 7 plus 2. So, divide natin both sides by 28x squared y raised to 6 minus 12y squared para makakuha natin yung y prime. So, cancel na yan. So the final answer is y prime equals this one 5x raised to 4 minus 8x y raised to 7 plus 2 all over 28x squared y raised to 6 minus 12y squared. So this is the final answer. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga susunod kong video. Thank you!